Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. And before we move on to the February reading, actually I have some exciting news to share with you today. I partnered with Keen for this video. And first of all, I'm so blessed to even have this opportunity. I didn't even expect to ever partner with them. But I do have some interesting information to share with you guys today. As a lot of you know, Keen is a very affordable, large and popular platform where you can connect with different psychics, mediums, astrologers, tarot readers um, for any sort of insight, whether it's about love, relationships or maybe health, career. They offer a variety of readings on there and a variety of advisors. I actually ended up receiving an amazing opportunity to, to check out the website myself and uh, I would like to share my experience with you today. So the sign up was very easy, it was very quick. You do have to do a quick questionnaire just to figure out what kind of insight you're looking for so they can match you with the right um, experts. And then once I did that, I just started shopping for the right psychic. Now, I would recommend to read reviews before you proceed because I feel like reviews are very important and pretty much every advisor on there has reviews. So I would go with that and of course I would go with my heart uh, just to see who you resonate with and who resonates with you. I did get to try a few psychics and I did like the ones that I've tried. I definitely found someone that I did not necessarily click with, but that's okay. You know, it's a big platform and I'm sure that you will be able to find somebody that kind of fulfills your needs. Uh, what I did like about the website is that you have three options on how you're able to connect with a psychic. It is a phone call, it is an email reading, and it is an online chat. Now, for me personally, I've tried a few phone calls and I've tried an online online chat. I did like it. I think it was very convenient considering that I was doing that at like 8 p.m. and there were a lot of people available on the site. That's another great advantage of Keen. You can connect with a psychic from work, from school, from home, 24-7. There is always somebody available and ready to chat with you. So the time here is not a problem. What's also great about the website is that you can always connect with the same psychic. If you like them, you can always develop a relationship with them. You can always come back to the same psychic and get insight whenever you want, which is also very convenient. And I do believe that it's good to have some sort of a relationship with the psychic so they know you, you know them, and that's how you develop that relationship. I think Keen is very good for that. And I actually ended up going back in my feed to see who I can connected with to see how long the call was and what the chat was all about because I've tried the chat as well and I could see everything on there. But the best thing that I'm coming to you with today is a promotion that Keen is currently running. If you do sign up with my link, which is trykeen.com111, you will be able to receive your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. I think this is a very good deal. And besides that, when you do become a member of the site, they start sending you weekly deals. For example, $5 free or buy $10 and receive $20 in credit. So there will always be deals there because Keen wants to make sure that it's affordable for you. And of course, all the advisors have different prices. Um, you're not really going to see the same price for everyone, but that's okay. Like I said, just shop around, just make sure that you connect on the spiritual, emotional uh, level with the psychic and then proceed. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna quickly guide you through the process on how to get started on Keen. Like I said, it's very simple, very easy. So at first you will need to fill out a quick questionnaire just to figure out what kind of insight you're looking for. Maybe it's love, maybe it's relationships, maybe it's career. For everyone is going to be different. And also Keen provides you with an option to choose an advisor, uh, the type of advisor. Maybe it's a medium, a tarot reader, an astrologer, and so on and then you just quickly fill out your first name you fill out your birthday and you are all set and ready to go like I said it's a very very uh, fast process you don't really have to do much and then here you go. Uh, Keen provides you with a list of psychics. As you can see, you can see prices right away. You can also see reviews. And I told you that I think that reviews are very, very important. You can click on any profile. You can see what kind of services the psychic is providing. And you can see how exactly you are able to contact them, whether it's a chat or a phone call. And that's it, guys.
I definitely enjoyed my time with Keen. I do believe that I'm probably gonna be coming back since I cannot read for myself personally. But thank you so much Keen for sponsoring this video. I really, really appreciate it and I'm really happy that I got an opportunity to even get this partnership. But now let's move on to February readings. Hi Scorpio, I hope you're doing well and this is going to be your February reading. I apologize that I did not post any January readings. I got slammed, like slammed, okay? And that's all because my yearly videos did really well, uh, brought a lot of people's attention and I just want to thank you guys because it's because of you. Uh, those videos got so much attention, so I appreciate it. But let's jump into your uh, February spread jump to your February spread. Let's see what you guys can expect to happen in February. So, Scorpio, what can Scorpio expect to happen in February? Let's see. Wow, starting out with the world. That's nice. Let's see. All right, beautiful. So, at the bottom of the deck, you do have Six of Swords. Six of Swords would suggest a shift. Right? Whether it's physical, where you could be going somewhere, maybe you could be going on a trip in February, or this could be a literal, um, this could be a shift within you. Um, this could be you walking away from a certain pattern, a person, relationship, right? It could be maybe walking away from a job, it could be a move, it could be a trip, uh, but there is some kind of a shift happening here, and this is the overall energy of the month. Now, the first card is the world, right? And this is what I'm wondering. Probably something is completing in your life at this point maybe it's a big project maybe it is a legal situation maybe it is a relationship uh, maybe you're taking the next step in your relationships but there is definitely something receiving a boost and something coming to some kind of culmination um, the world card is usually neutral uh, depending on the deck and depending on the surrounding cards but the thing is that I'm using this new deck here which I love and the world in this deck is one of the most positive cards it's a very positive outcome as you can see I'm not sure if it's focusing she definitely seems happy about this she can finally relax and enjoy life so I believe that maybe this could be something that was uh, draining you for a very long time that's finally coming to some sort of completion so you can breathe. Why is the world here? Let's see. The Emperor, the Sun. I don't even want to pull more cards. And also, we do have uh, Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Now, the traditional meaning of Knight of Cups would be that maybe you are going to receive some positive news right in the beginning of the month. And since I am actually recording this on the 1st of February, or the 2nd, it's the 2nd today. But it could be that you are already going through this, okay? It could be that it's about to complete or something. There is something that you may be working on. And if it doesn't resonate, it's probably just not your reading, you know, because it is a general spread. It could be some positive news that you could receive. Now, with the Emperor and the Sun, both major arcanas clarifying another major arcana, it's a very, very big shift. And it's something that you would definitely recognize. It's not just, oh, you know... I used to go to the gym, but I no longer go to the gym. Like, it's not that type of uh, shift. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's, it's something really major. Um, because major arcanas are there for a reason. They do suggest significant events. So it could be that maybe with the Emperor and the Sun, first of all, you could receive the position of authority. Uh, if you've been waiting to get promoted, if you've been waiting for some sort of a bonus for recognition, uh, it could be the time. Okay, also uh, with the Emperor here, it could suggest that maybe you are going to receive some positive news from authorities. That's also, that could be very important, you know, with the Sun here, it's positivity, it's finally something getting done, something that you can uh, just drop and never come back to, you know, it's relief. So whatever this is, guys, I think it's going to be very amazing for you. I think it's going to be very helpful to you. I think this is something that you could be waiting for for a very long time and now Finally, you are receiving some sort of a reward for it. The Emperor could also suggest a father figure. It could suggest somebody that you look up to. Maybe they're going to help you in the beginning of February. Maybe they're going to be your support. Maybe you're going to become the Emperor, right? For some of you, if you're a male especially, it could be becoming a father, for example. 
could be becoming a husband. So that's really interesting. Now the next card we have here is King of Swords. And King of Swords could suggest another person in your life. Uh, somebody that usually does not really let their emotions um, guide them. You know, they're pretty logical, they're pretty smart, they don't usually uh, show too many feelings. You Sometimes it's hard for you to tell what they're actually feeling, right? Could be that person around you, could be an air sign around you, or it could be you strategizing something, taking some kind of logical approach. Let's see, why is King of Swords here? Could be about wanting to take some sort of action in February towards I want to say the second week of February wanting to take some sort of action and uh, wanting it to be successful but at the same time realizing that there are some circumstances that are stopping you so as you can see in the beginning of the month we have a major transition we have some sort of completion we have a new step next level and things like that but there's also something else in your life here um, that could be you know maybe on pause on some kind of a hold because the hanged man sometimes does suggest that, uh, you know, you would like something to happen, but you cannot get it off the ground. And um, here with Queen of Wands and Three of Cups and King of Swords, it could be literally a strategy of some sort that you might be creating towards the second week of the month, where you're going to be figuring out how to make this right, how to do this, so you have a successful outcome here, so you have a reason to celebrate, right? However, this could be other people involved in this with you. Um, what I can, by the way, say is that, for example, for those that are not interested in romance or anything like that, there could be um, a person that you were waiting for for a very long time, finally um, creating some sort of a like approach towards you. Uh, because Three of Cups is a lot of times a card of a reunion. So it could be that maybe an old friend is going to appear out of nowhere. We are about to enter Mercury Retrograde. Uh, so that does bring people back from the past, okay? So somebody maybe that you've lost touch with or maybe somebody that you were waiting for but couldn't really see any action from them, they could come forward in February. And for those that are interested in romance, it could be a person that maybe was really giving you a really mixed vibes, but now they're going to come forward. You see what I mean? Because I do see how from the hanged man it goes into three of cups and queen of wands, passion, action. So there is something shifting. Something shifting that you could not move off the ground before. So I do believe that this is a year, uh, not a year, this is a month of progress for you guys. The next card going into, I would say, I guess mid-month, right? We do have justice. So for legal situations, if you're dealing with any kind of legal matters, this could be that justice is going to finally be served in your favor. Uh, justice will be served regardless, right? But it just depends who was the, in the right there <laughs> and who was doing things how they should be done. So why is justice here? If you're not into anything legal, it could be something balancing out. Something um, uh, in your life, Ace of Cups. Knight of Cups, the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so not only that some kind of successful ventures are going to be happening, but also it's going to be uh, involving your love life somehow. So for single Scorpios and for uh, Scorpios that are in relationships, there could be some interesting things. You could, okay, so for some of you, it could be a status change. Because justice a lot of times would suggest legal, right? So it could be a status change, for example, from single to married. Uh, if this is not your case, sometimes it could even suggest a divorce, but this is a desired divorce, something that you really, really want to happen. Maybe you're going to be filing some paperwork in February. Also, with justice here, it could be finally something balancing out. The scales are even now. And it has been a theme throughout the whole month, guys, but in like mid-February, you can look back and you can be like, yes, I achieved this, this is the balance that I wanted, because Knight of Cups and Ace of Cups here could suggest a lot of positive emotions coming from this justice. It's 100%, okay, so tarot readings are not 100%, right? But if we do go by this reading, it does seem 100% that whatever venture it is, whatever legal situation it is, it is working out in your favor, guys, because we do have Ace of Cups and Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, by the way, and I know it from my own experience, combination of Justice and Knight of Cups promises legal, 
you know, solving legal problems uh, with ease, with success. It can almost be that type of information that can make you cry. It's so good, you know, because that's the, that's a very a good combo. It's something that you've been fighting for for a while, something that uh, was really hard to reach, but now it's there. Guys, it's such an amazing month and in love too. You know, Ace of Cups, maybe you're... Don't lose your mind over someone, please, because we do have Knight of Cups here in this deck. He's All he's seeing is hearts and it's a little dangerous. You know, when you turn off your logic and start only going by your emotions, you know, you could really get into a trap, whether it's a good person you're dealing with or not, but you still cannot, cannot lose that logic and as you see with ace of cups here you see what's happening around her head she's like all she's seeing is heart so guys be careful like not to go crazy over someone like in love you know uh, of course stay logical stay true to yourself but I do believe that it could be a very good month to fall in love seriously I think it could be and finally we do have eight of wands and eight of wands here it's a little bit different. Uh, of course, they do like to stick to traditional meanings, but, you know, images are here for a reason. So we do see a tornado. And with this tornado, it means that something that you... It's something that you initiate. It's something that you put to process, process right? There is something with this tornado that's going to be started. And something that will continue throughout winter. Okay, so, and maybe even uh, spring. So why is Eight of Wands here? A lot of cards are indicating here that you could have some sort of a status change. Okay, a lot of them could indicate that you could win like a legal case. Um, it could be possibly maybe um, balancing out, you know, your relationships with others. It doesn't have to be romantic. Some kind of, a, you're planting seeds here for something new. You're going to initiate something in February that's going to give you benefit later. Okay, you're gonna start that process. You're going to initiate some. I think you get it, right? <laughs> okay, so Queen of Cups, Temperance, and Empress. Wonderful cards, first of all. Again, it's all about balance here. You want your balance. You want things to be right. Uh, you want things to be calm after a storm, you want things to be emotionally appealing to you, you want new beginnings, you want maybe it's creativity, maybe it is, uh, you know, hobbies, creativity or something you're focusing on, maybe it is relationships, maybe it is pregnancy for some of you. There's something that you're going to start in February and then just enjoy the process and wait when it gives you the rewards because it could very well bring you the rewards pretty soon. And with Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, this could suggest a slow approach. This could suggest maybe taking baby steps towards something, but definitely acting on it. Not sitting around, not waiting for it to happen magically, right? You are going to initiate something in February and take it with you into the upcoming months. And I think it's going to be very successful, guys. I think it is a month of progress. I think it is a month of uh, you completing things, you balancing things out, and getting ready for new things. Very exciting, very happy for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.